Hello and welcome to SGN Tech Forum. In this video, I'm going to start a new um, series uh, for SD WAN uh, VIPTELA uh, track. And in this very first video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade the VIPTELA controllers. So the first thing what you need is um, to log in to your Cisco vManage. So VIPTELA controller is a set of three controllers we manage we bond and we smart so i'm going to upgrade controller today uh, you can also manage everything via we manage like you can upgrade your vanage routers also but i do not have any vanage so far so i'm going to upgrade all my controllers so to upgrade the controller what you need you need the right software right the very first thing so go to your cisco software download and search for cisco soft sd van software once you go to SD-WAN software, you will come to this tab and you see you have vManage softwares and SD-WAN software update. vManage softwares are complete OVA files. That means if you are spinning up your VM for the very first time, you need this OVA files. But for upgrade, all you need is SD-WAN software update. So go to a software update and we are going to upgrade to 19.2.2. So come to 19.2.2 and here you can see there are two or three images available. We manage upgrade image that is implicit. That means this image is used for we manage uh, to upgrade we manage. And then you have we smart VH, uh, we bond upgrade image. So uh, download these two we manage and we uh, we bond. So up, upload uh, download the route right image on your uh, laptop. And then what you can do, you can go to Cisco vManage, come back to Cisco vManage and then come here, maintenance software repo. So first you have to upload the software. So as you can see, you can just simply click here and say how you want to upload your software. Uh, you can upload it from the remote server, you can upload it from the uh, your local desktop or you can pull it from remote uh, vManage. So I'm going to use local desktop. You can simply drag and drop so you can drag and drop but for the safety and save some time i have already uh, uploaded the image here because it can take some time second thing what you want you want to back up the configuration so what do you you're gonna do is go to network and then you can come here You can go to your network configuration come here and you can copy the configuration so you can do the same things for all your three controllers now what we are going to do we are since we have taken up the backup and we have uploaded the config if, uh, I'm, I'm going to show you one more hack to back up the configuration, which is a very nice Git repo. So you can see there is a Sastre Git repo here, and it has very nice SD-WAN uh, tools available. Uh, that means you can have a Python-based script to back up your controller and all. So if you want, you can simply uh, clone this to your local desktop and run this and take backup to your controller. How you're gonna do this so you can first git clone to this git repo once you git clone this then you have to install the dependencies python 3 and pip install upgrade cisco sd van once you have this dependency installed then what you can do you can go to the downloaded location cd sastre and then you can run a script Python 3 SD, SD WAN P, PY. So if you expand this, you will see there is a SD WAN PI script is already there. So use it with Python 3, Python 3 SD WAN PI, uh, dash A, your vManage address, dash U, your username, dash P is for pass, password, and port is 443. Then you can say verbose backup all. So it's going to backup everything. That means all three controllers at the same time if there is any uh, uh, vanage routers everything and it also display the verbose image that uh, log that what all it's doing in the background so it's a very nice um, uh, devnet sort of tool which you can use to backup uh, now let's go ahead and start the upgrade so 
again go to maintenance but this time we are going to go to a software upgrade because we have already uploaded the config so you can see uh, there are three tabs uh, vanage i do not have any vanage routers controllers i have one v smart and one v bond you may have many um, so if you have multiple v bond and v smart you don't have to upgrade them one by one you, you just select your v bond and it uh, it will upgrade everything but the order of operation is you have to upgrade your v v manage controller first and then only you can go ahead and upgrade uh, v bond and uh, v smart so let's uh, so i'm here at the v uh, v manage and then you can see upgrade the first tab is upgrade uh, before I do the upgrade, I want to show you something. The set default version. So sometime right now you can see my default version is 18.3.8 and current version is also 18.3.8. But sometime uh, you have space crunch, disk space crunch, and you want to delete some images. So you cannot delete the default image. You can only delete non-default image. So if you have multiple images which you want to delete, set your default image and delete. Uh, whatever image you feel it's not uh, necessary but in my case I have I just have one image and that is only set to default so let's go ahead and upgrade I'm going to say we manage since I have already uploaded uh, the software so I can see it in drop down I'm going to select it and say upgrade and you can see the uh, upgrade is started you will see the logs here validation success And once start upgrade start rolling, I'll pause the video for uh, for a moment. And once upgrade is successful, I'll uh, restart that, and we'll do the same uh, same continue the same thing with other controllers like V Bond and V Smart. So right now it is installing software image. Okay, current active partition is this software image. You can see all the logs. Starting software install, fairly quick. And you can see the status here in progress and when it uh, complete you will see the success so that was really quick uh, software uh, update but we manage uh, we have not activated it we just have distributed the software now let's go back to software upgrade we manage and then we are going to say activate so what do you want to do is you want to activate this activate new version of software on vmanage requires a reboot which will log out all active sessions so if you are sss to the controller uh, or any control uh, and control collection will also go down so it's a uh, it's, it, there is a downtime downtime involved actually so let's do activate and you see server is now rebooting this is a good time to pause the video and i'll be back Hi and welcome back. Uh, you can see that uh, we manage is back. It took a while, and now it is back. And uh, you can see the V Smart and all those things here. Now let's go back and check. We are going to go to software upgrade. We manage. I can see the current version changed to 19.2.2, and the older version shifted to 18.3. So we have uh, what we have done. We have done upgrade and activate. What we didn't do is set the default version. So set the set it to the new de default because right now you can see the default is 18.3.8. So if you set it to the new one, in case the uh, controller reboots for some reason, it will come up with the right software, not the older one. You see, what is in progress? So it's right now is scheduled. Then we'll go in progress and then success. Once we set it to 19.2.2 as a default version, we are going to go ahead and upgrade the other two controller, which are V Bond and V Smart. Okay, in progress.
success now let's go back to software upgrade again and this time we are going to deal with the controller so what you can do you can select both of them together go to upgrade and we manage we are going to select the platform activate and reboot so we are going to do it together this is possible only for vbond and v uh, vsmart not for vmanage and i'm going to simply hit the upgrade you see both are in scheduled status but since we are on vmanage uh, we are not going to lo uh, lose connectivity and uh, we we'll, can watch the upgrade sitting from the vmanage itself so right now it will go through the same sequences that means it will push the software and uh, and then activate it you see started installing the activating software image it's actually dependent you can see uh, one is waiting on another and if you have multiple v bond or v smart you can simply select them and v manage is smart enough to sequence them they it's not going to start rebooting everything at at the same time as as you can see in this picture also it's a v uh, v smart is waiting on v bond to finish and then only v smart will go ahead and upgrade itself so again i'm going to pause the uh, video here and i'll be back now as you can see on my screen the v bond and v smart both the software updated successful v bond uh, was fairly quick but v smart took some time uh, just to give you some context and now what we are going to do we are going to do the same activity so we have activated uh sorry uh, so for your controller we actually did upgrade and activate at the same time so it is already activated now let's go to software upgrade controllers and you can see v smart right now you can see the default version is 183 i'm going to set the default to 19.2.2 that is the last task to do because you want your software version to be consistent on all three controllers once it is done uh, the software upgrade is complete uh, since i do not have any vanage router otherwise you can also upgrade your vanage uh, using v v manage which probably i'll show you in future videos so you can see this this is scheduled this is going to be in progress and then success yes this is done and again we go back to main dashboard just to make sure that all our v smart v bond and v manage they are at the same level and uh, if i have to go and check the controller version you can see it's 19.2.2 so i hope you like the video and you can find it useful thank you